Hi, everyone. Today we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to uh, either write the formula or the name for type 1 binary nomenclature or type 1 binary compounds. So the first thing you have to do is go over the rules. Now, again, these rules are in your packet. And again, we're going over type 1 binary. Now, binary means two. So we need to make sure that we only have two elements. If there's more than two elements, it's going to be polyatomic. So two elements. With type 1, the first element will always be a metal, and the second one will be a non-metal. What makes it a type 1, not a type 2, is that the metal only has one type of charge. Now, you'll be able to know which ones have type of charge. If you turn to page 12 in your packet, you'll scroll down and you'll see that the ones that have a white background that have a, a positive number and there are the metals. They're below the staircase. They have a positive number in the box. And they also have the symbol. And so this is what we do. We always write the cation, then the anion. Now the cation is the metal, and it has a positive charge. The anion will be the nonmetal, and it will always have a negative charge. Now hydrogen, one of the things about hydrogen is hydrogen can be uh, both an anion or a cation. Most of the time, we're probably going to see it as an anion, hooking up with a metal. But if it's listed first, then that means it must be the cation. Okay, we're going to name the cation as we do in the periodic table. So if we look at sodium, we see Na, we call it sodium. Okay, but when we do the uh, anion, we take the ending and rearrange it and put I at the end. A good example would be, uh, for that, would be uh, carbon, would be carbide. Fluorine would change to fluoride. Bromine would be bromide. Iodine would be iodide. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. So we name the metal and we put iod at the end of the nonmetal. Now, when we're writing out the formulas, the biggest thing that you have to make sure, you know, is that the charges of the positive and the negative have to cancel each other out. I think it might be easier if we show you. Now, if the charges, the beginning charges don't cancel out, we're going to use something called the crisscross method. We're going to crisscross the numbers, and I think it's the easiest way to do it. But remember that even if you crisscross the numbers, if you can reduce the numbers, you're going to have to do that. And again, this is going to be an ionic bond because we have two ions that are forming here. So let's go ahead and go over them. We're going to go over these four right here. I have C, uh, K, C, L. And so we're going to start off by looking at the periodic table. Now, I'm trying to make it a little bit easier so we don't have to look at the periodic table, but I would like you to look at your periodic table. Okay. And notice that as soon as you find K, you'll notice that it is potassium. And then C, L, we find that, and that's going to be chlorine. We change the ending of chlorine to ide, and we end up having potassium chloride. Okay, let's name this compound. Now, again, we're not going to worry about the subscripts because they had to cancel each other out. So if you look at it, this is a type 1 metal. It means it has a charge. So we're just going to write down lithium for Li. And then we have O is oxygen. Then we change the ending of oxygen to ide, and we end up with lithium oxide. Okay, our next one, we have CABr2. Again, we're not worrying about the subscripts, so we're just going to go ahead and put CA. We look at our periodic table, we see that CA is uh, calcium, and Br is bromine, and we're going to change the ending of bromine, okay? to that IDE, and we'll end up with calcium bromide. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, next one that I have. We have lithium, Li, again, just like I had this one up here. But now I have H. So we have hydrogen. And so what we're going to do is take with hydrogen is we're going to change the ending to ide. And notice how much drops off. We end up having hydride. So it would be lithium hydride. Now that's how we do the names from the formulas. But what about if we do it the other way? It's a little more complicated. So I want you to pay attention on how we do this. 
And again, so we have to come up with the charges for each one. Now, the charge for sodium, if we find and look to page 12, or if we know that column one of the periodic table is plus one, we give the charge of plus one for sodium. We go to bromine, we find out that bromine is in column 17 or 7A of the periodic table which means that it has seven valence electrons, which means it needs one. So it's going to take the one that sodium gives away, and it's going to end up being a negative one. Now, these two charges cancel out. And if I give overall charges, you can see that I could put a plus one down here and a minus one right there. Now, this is plus one. There's no number here, but that would represent one. Times one equals a plus one. Negative one times one equals a minus one. So we only need one of each one of these. So we're just going to put Na for sodium, Br for bromine, and we have NaBr. That's the formula for sodium bromide. Let's go on to calcium. Calcium is another one. We look at it. We find it in column two of the periodic table, so it's a plus two. Oxide reverts back to oxygen. That's in column 6A of the periodic table, which has a charge of negative two. And again, you can look on page 12, and it has all these charges on page 12. Now, these two cancel each other out, so we have a total charge of a plus 2 and a negative 2. Okay, so that means I only need one of each one of these. Notice there's no numbers here. One of each one in order to have the correct formula. So we're going to put Ca and O, and that would be our formula for calcium oxide. What about ones that don't match? Okay, so here's a couple of them that don't match. So we find magnesium, <coughs> Mg, uh, yeah, Mg in the periodic table. It's in column 2A, so the charge is plus 2. Nitrogen, that's over in 5A. So we look at the charge above it, it's a negative 3. Well, they don't match. They don't cancel each other out, so we're going to do the crisscross method. So we're going to take this 3 and move it right down here. Not the charge, just the number. Then we're going to take this two and move it over here. Okay. Now we have, we can figure out that we make sure that we have our charges cancel each other out. So a plus two times three equals plus six. Negative three times two equals a negative six. So they do cancel each other out. So all we have to do is put down our symbol with a subscript. So magnesium is going to be Mg3. And nitrogen will be N2. So there's our formula for magnesium nitride. Okay, let's go on to the next one, calcium hydride. As before, we said calcium was a plus 2 because it's in column 2A or 2 of the periodic table. Okay, we can also look on page 12, which will tell us the exact same thing. Hydride, again, goes back to hydrogen, <coughs> which is in column 1. But because it's an anion, it's a negative one, not a positive one. So hydrogen can be plus or minus one. It's the only one in that first column because remember it is above the staircase, but that's a kind of a iffy thing with that one. So again, they do not match. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take this one and we're gonna put it right here. Then we're gonna take this two and put it right over here. Again, we call that the crisscross method. And then we can go ahead and make sure our total charges are right. So two times one, equals a plus 2. Negative 1 times 2 <clears throat> equals a negative 2. So they do cancel each other out. So all we have to do is put in the symbols with the numbers. Now remember, if I have a 1 here, I do not need to put that down. A matter of fact, it's best if I don't put that down. So we're going to put Ca with no number, subscript. Then we're going to do hydride with a 2. Hydr hydride or hydrogen is an H. And then we'll put a subscript to 2. Hey, those are pretty simple. Type 1s are pretty simple. They get a little bit more complicated with type 2. So that's all.